What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Rivals of Innistrad, Ixalan. I've actually mis like I comically said the name differently so many times that I actually just forgot what the actual name of the set was. So today, uh, we haven't jumped right in the queue because we're doing a stipulation draft. Uh, subscriber and uh, long longtime subscriber and viewer Monsonster actually submitted a stipulation for a draft. Okay, so here's the stipulation. You make the picks with an explore value theme in mind, which means graveyard interaction is a premium. So like you're exploring, so you're putting cards in the graveyard, obviously. So the cards like recover become better or, um, you know, like the jungle creeper becomes better because you can get them back. So uh, you're incentivized to pick up explore creatures and pick up cards that interact with your graveyard or can, can work from your graveyard. Um, must takes or journey to eternity, jungle creeper and undying chicken, which is rekindling Phoenix for those who've been watching. Uh, that's the only red card I can take. Final deck must consist of at least four cards from each Sultai color. <laughs> so, so we're going to be predominantly black, blue, and green. And, uh, Sailor of Memes will be key to longer games and fixing mana. So, that is the stipulation. Explore-based... Wow, that was perfect timing. Uh, it's an explore-based deck. With a graveyard... With preferential graveyard things. Thankfully, there's nothing in this pack that has anything to do with the graveyard whatsoever or exploring. Um, so I'm going to take this Captain's Hook because I think it's good in any deck, not necessarily a pirate deck. And actually, it doesn't even have to be a pirate deck because it turns your guys into pirates. So it becomes a pirate deck by, by nature. So I'm going to take that. And then we're going to be good to go. All right, so now... Oh, we got to pass a Merfolk Mistbinder here. Maybe? My biggest concern is that I worry there aren't enough Explore creatures in Rivals of Ixalan. Like, I think a lot of them are in regular Ixalan. So, Graveyard things. Stop telling me about updates, Adobe CC. Moment of Craving, are you better than Merfolk Mistbinder? Probably not, but if we're not going to be Merfolk, then there actually are a bunch of Explore Merfolk. That's actually true. There's the 2-1. I think that might be it. There might be more. I don't know. Let me look up all the Explore cards in this set just to have a better understanding. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to reserve this Mistbinder just in case. So it looks like it's predominantly black and green. Yeah, that seems obvious though, right? I don't think there's a ton of merfolk. Champion of Dusk, that's a guy. Well, it does it does fit with our Sultai theme. Again, no real No interaction yet. So I think at this point we're just gonna take the best card in the pack. This guy's a 4-4. Four, four. If we're not vampires, it's not very good. We could have actually taken the moment there, which would have been easier. I mean, yeah, I think we... I, I don't want to be disingenuous to the uh, to the stipulation, but I think we just have to take the good the Sultai good stuff up until the point where we have uh, a clear direction to go in terms of exploring. What up, Metal Duck Knight? Yeah, I don't know how this got to his third pick. This guy's amazing. If you have two other vampires out, you're just like, well, I'll draw three. <laughs> Seems good. That was a loud mouth noise I made there. Arterial Flow. Regisar. Reggie's probably the best card in this pack. Oh. Uh... I feel like it's Voracious Vampire here just because we're going with Champion of Dusk. This also lets us pick up things like Recover. Where all where are my where are my explorers be at? 
That's what I want to know. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I added the, the stipulation command. So if you guys... Um, if you guys are curious what the stipulation is, just hit command stip. Horn Swoggle. Mist Cloak Herald. Goes well with our Mist Binder, but not our other two vampires. Actually, for not being white, this guy might not be as good, but it is good with Champion of Dusk, and there are a bunch of black vampires anyway, so. Piteous Plunder might be good because of the fixing. I really don't like taking him this early, but it does have to do with creatures dying. It's kind of on. It's kind of on point. It's also pretty good with the captain, so it gets a three-four with menace. I think Harold is strong, but it's actually good with captain's hook too, I guess. But I'm leaning more towards like non merfolk I want to take the plunder here. Nothing yet. Still, still waiting. Uh, secrets could be good here. Or Evolving Wilds. I like Secrets because we're supposed to be going blue-black. Uh, maybe we splash green. There's no, no Merfolk here. Evolving Wilds might be better. Evolving Wilds is probably better, right? We'll take the Evolving Wilds. Armasaur. Not the five drop we're looking for. Neither is Dinosaur Hunter, though. I mean, I think any of these creatures are good with pirate with the captain's hook, so. Armasaur might just be the pick here, actually. I mean, it's not great, but I think it's better than Dinosaur Hunter. It's double green, though. I think we're going to be base green, green, blue, green, black, and then just playing. All right, this is an explorer. This is an explorer. Oh, we're just taking Enter the Unknown. Play two lands, explore something. I think Secrets is a better card, but I think this is stipulation-based, so we're going to take this. Another Plunder. Amulet could be good. Uh, might just be Plunder number two. <laughs> Actually, Alex Bertoncini's card is uh, Jade Light Ranger, right? Because it's literally two Explorers. I like Amulet. I like Aggressive Urge better, but... Uh, I'm going to take the Urge. I think Urge is a better card. Fathom Fleet Border should be fine. I like a Plunder Plummet for the sideboard. I like a Naturalize for the sideboard. The two two perfect sideboard cards. Well, this, Misfolk, this Merfolk Mistbinder would have been definitely better served as a uh, Moment of Craving, unfortunately, but... We had no idea. Jade Light Ranger would be sick open here. It would be like the perfect stipulation card. Also, we saw zero recovers, which is interesting. Interesting and sad. I do like how this uh, these first Tomb Robber. That's actually a pretty good one in terms of the stipulation. Huh. I wish this... Why does this cost three mana, though? That's pretty bad, right? Tomb Robber is probably the pick here. I think I would rather take this Hunt, but we're going to stick with the stipulation and take the Tomb Robber. So, Dead Eye Rig Hauler, Vampire Revenant, Forerunner of the Empire is pretty solid. 
We are not that color, though. Could just be Dus Dusk Legion Zealot. I think it's probably just Zealot here. Nothing else is explorey, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go with Zealot here. We're gonna put the Mistbinder in the sideboard. That was that was probably the worst pick here, but but we're also not really even green yet, kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Zealot just because we also have Champion of Dusk and Voracious Vampire. So Legion Lieutenant, good lord, what in the earth? It's obviously Sailor here. But boy, we could ooh, we could have a thing going on here. But we do have like this is a guy's a pirate, this guy's a pirate, this guy's a pirate, this guy's a pirate. So we're not really we're not even like vampires here. We're basically just Yeah, we're gonna take Sailor. Crafty a cut purse. There's about each token that would be created to create another someone else instead. Dead man's chest. This does have to do with the graveyard but i think i think recover is probably better here recover is probably what we want especially when we have champion of dusk i'm just gonna take the recover always grateful to hit a recover oh hunt the week is probably where we want to be i like water knot but i think we're probably more likely to be green than blue and it's single single green versus double blue Strength of the pack. And another Hunt the Week? Wow, you guys are that's a bunch of haters. And eh, no graveyard things in here. We'll just take the Hunt the Week. Alan, what happened to Nappin, buddy? You are wide awake. I always feel like I need a nap. Oh, another Dusk, Dusk Legion Zealot. Yes, please. All right, this is pretty good. Oh, a hot date, huh? And it's not even me? That's what you're saying? Oh, another Sailor? All right, deal. This deck's looking great. I actually think this deck's looking pretty sweet right now. This Captain's Hook is kind of holding all together because it's basically mono one toughness, guys. But uh, do we like Secrets or Expel from Arazka better? We have, like, basically no removal other than the Hunt the Weeks. We didn't see a single Impale. This is also double blue. This is single blue. I'm also worried about them playing a 2-5 and us not being able to do anything. I'm going to take the Expel. Let's take this Dusk Charger because that guy is a nice late gentleman. And we can get Colossal Dreadmaws in the next pack. And take another Naturalize. Deal. I'll take this. Oh, actually, Spirewinder is probably better here. Yeah, Spirewinder is the better card. Crashing Tide, okay. Wow, that's a lot of good late cards. What up, Quacker2000? I do like one seeker with the grind all the way plan, but uh, I was a little reluctant with the double, double blue casting cost. Sovereign 7, what's going on? Oh, another Aggressive Urge? And a Hardy Veteran, which I don't think really care about. But it's probably better. Oh, wow, another Spirewinder. All right, I'm okay with all of those cards. Walk the Plank. Contract Killing. Okay, this pack looks good. No Explorer guys, though. So now we just have to focus on the best card. We have 14 creatures. I think we definitely want some piece of removal, whether it's Walk the Plank or Contract Killing. I'm pretty sure it's Walk the Plank. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now we're going to get past something like a Galta, right? No, guess not. I think Pounce is pretty bad for us just because we don't have a way to, uh, we don't have any big creatures. 
I think I like Dire Fleet Hoarder. I also like Shapers of Nature. Just because it doesn't, it's not a merfolk restriction, it's just a 3-3. Three, three. And it does give us a lot of things to do with our mana later. Are there any, again, no real graveyard interactions or explore cards, but we do have, we do have a recover to get this guy back if it dies. So I'm just going to take Shapers here. Kite Sail Freebooter. Vanquish the Weak. It's got to be Vanquish here, right? No explorers, so I think we're just vanquishing the week here. This is a lot of picks as well. Um, we're at 25 cards now. <sighs> a lot of red and white cards in this pack. Jeez, Headstrong, Brute's Great, Sky Terror, Territorial, Hammer Skull. I guess we're just taking Blossom Dryad. Actually, it's probably maybe it's desperate castaways. We actually have a, a good amount of um, artifacts between captains' hooks and sailors. Oh wow, some lots of lots of good green things. March of the Drowned. Return to pirates. Is that better than ranging raptors? It is graveyard based. Do we have enough pirates to make that a thing? We have double sailor, a tomb raider, tomb robber. It might as well be called tomb raider. Plunderer, Fathom Fleet Border, Dinosaur Hunter. We did take a Desperate Castaways. Pretty sure we're just taking March because it's based on stipulation. Pirates Cutlass. That's pretty good. This makes our guys a little stronger. Um. Mm, dousing dagger also not terrible. Jeez. So we can just take the like a bunch of the worst creatures and then just have, then just suit them up. It also makes desperate castaways a lot better. Dousing dagger is kind of comical because you actually want the plus two plus one more than you want the uh, the other side. Like, you usually don't care about adding three mana of any one color. You usually just want the uh, the plus two, plus one. I still think it's the better card in this pack. I don't think it's Voyage. You think it's Voyage? When we already have an Expel and a Crashing Tide? Interesting. Run aground. I'm just going to take the Dreadmaw. We want something big. So, I think that fulfills that. Daggertooth, Deadeye Tormentor, or... It's probably just Tormentor. We have a, a bigger pirate theme than a... Eh, I'll take a Cobbled Wings. Sure. Desperate Castaway is looking, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good with all our artifacts. Eh, just Headstrong Brute. Brontodon doesn't seem terrible with our, with our Dousing Dagger flipped. Probably gonna play it. Wow, a lot of a lot of castaways here. A lot of two threes for for two. All right, now we got to make the cuts. Yeah, we can actually put twenty four lands in here and just play sixty cards, which is kind of interesting. Jeez, jeez. Hardy Veteran is probably worse than the Desperate Castaways. We can cut one Castaways, one Hardy Veteran. We can probably cut one of these. Brontodon can go. Alan, have a good nap, buddy. I like Cobbled Wings more than Dagger, I think. Cobbled Wings actually helps us float. Oh my god, we need seven more cuts. Eight more cuts? a ridiculous amount of cuts. I don't actually think you need that many sailors here. I don't think I like... I don't like... You, so we have to have three blue cards. I think Crashing Tide, the two Spirewinders, and the Shapers of Nature will be our blue cards. I don't think we want the sailors, really.
16 lands plus the map? What what map? What am I missing? Four more cuts still. Jeez, there's so many cuts. Probably one more desperate castaways. This is 14 creatures, so I feel like we're done cutting creatures. Oh, you meant Traveler's Amulet, not map. You're thinking Expedition map, maybe? So now we actually have a good amount of of removal. We also have a good amount of equipment. I'm going to cut wings. I like cutting cutlass more than I like wings, just because wings actually lets you float over, but I can see cutting wings. Three equipment is a lot. Hmm. Is it just Voracious Rampart? I hate cutting Voracious Rampart because you have two two Zealots and a Champion of Dusk, but I don't think this is actually... This guy doesn't do a lot. It's just a 2-2 two, two Menace. It's 13 creatures. Do we have any other creatures in the forms of... I guess we have Recover and we have March of the Drowned to get back Pirates. What about enter? Like our plan is the stipulation is explore based. So I think we are going to play 16 lands here because we only have one five and one six. Maybe. What other one cut can we make? And we do have double, double zealot here. Cut two, add one of you. I think this is fine, and then we add uh, this. Or we can play one more and sort by color. I like Urge because it gives us some kind of trick. And it lets us dig a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little digging. Um, I like this. I think we'll try it like this. We'll see how it goes. Um, I actually don't feel bad about this deck because we have some really good cards like Captain's Hook, Pirate's Cutlass, Champion of Dusk. We have a good amount of like ways to deal with things. Crashing Tide, Vanquish the Weak, Walk the Plank. Double hunt the week. But then we have we do have some big guys. And we can get them back with recover. March of the Drown will also get back a champion or a dust charge if we need to. Or we can get back a border and a dead eye tormentor. So. And we have a we have plenty of like we can make a we can enter the unknown on a Dusk Legion Zealot to make it a 2 2 maybe. So we'll see. This is pretty good. Looks like we can live that dream sooner rather than later. I mean, if we hit a green, that is. Keep. Alright, well, that is a third land, which is nice for... And if we hit a green, we can go Zealot into Swamp Forest. So, wow, we're doing well here. So next time we can go enter and dinosaur hunter. Maybe we just enter on the dinosaur hunter. Yeah, this is an easy block. 
Oh, the, the perfect, the perfectness. Ooh, put you on top. Seems good. We didn't play another land. Oh my god, I totally forgot what to play another land part. That was pretty terrible. Maybe they don't know. I t literally forgot that it was playing on the land. I thought it was just explore. I know. You guys are great. You guys never miss a beat. <laughs> Our opponent missed two land drops, so... I think we're fine. But that's not literally the first time I've cast Enter the Unknown, so... We'll, we'll just... We'll just... Uh, we'll, we'll mark it up to a... Yeah, this is going to be rough. Two, three, threes. Oof. No blocks, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I feel like this game's over. Next game. Not next game. Still this game. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are one away from just in Captain's Hook. We can just we can just walk the plank and vanquish someone. That feels good, right? I guess we're just gonna alpha here. Keep up vanquish. I feel like you kind of have to block. I guess you could triple block one guy, right? Which is fine. Really? Actually, should have got rid of the vampire. Would have been saved him one life. I don't know. I, I defaulted to getting rid of the biggest creature. So, you guys are... Watching the mistakes as they happen, but I, I I like to think I catch them. So there's always that. I like to attribute it to my hands moving faster than my head. That's a good one. That is a good one. So long, Spirewinder. Also a good one. That will almost do it. Disco Biscuits, what's going on, buddy? All right, the old tap four concede on classic. Okay, well, that was fine. Yeah, that extra counter from Enter the Unknown was pretty insane, actually. I was I was definitely impressed. I wonder if Cobbled Wings is better than Aggressive Urge. I don't think I have the evidence to support that yet, but I, it is something I'm considering. We saw one flyer from them. We did say a Ravenous Chupacabra, which is kind of a pain but you know you do what you can oh uh, I think we're keeping this hand if we can draw a two mana pirate followed by a land I would be most grateful okay halfway there living on a prayer take my hand we'll make it I swear 
Attack for 4-4 four, four on turn 3, maybe? We're halfway there. How about that land? That's not it. Re he he land. That's not a land. Can you be a land? You're not a land either. All right, well, now we are our opponent this game, unfortunately. I'll take an island. No. Welp. See you later. I always regret not playing 17 whenever I don't play 17. Well, they're missing lands too, but we are missing more lands, so. Man, this hand was great too, up until the point where we did not have a land. One land turns on five of the cards in our hand. Yep, that's a good dude. Hey, we did it. All right. Fashionably late to the party. I mean, I don't I don't actually blame the deck if we lose this this game because I I'm pretty sure it was land based. This when they killed this guy and we left the 1-1. One, one. Impale. <laughs> it's like it's just clockwork at this point. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be able to block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go to four, and there's nothing in our hand that actually helps us keep up with that, so. Alright, let's try it again. I'm bringing Sailor for Crashing Tide. It just seems better. I actually do like taking the Dreadmaw out. I'm a fan of that. I'm going to keep this hand again because we have Zealot and Captain's Hook and we have a Swamp here at least. This guy's going to deal us some damage, but... I No, actually, if we play Captain's Hook and equip, if we go land, land, we can go turn three Captain's Hook, turn four, equip, and border. Which is pretty sweet. So two lands and we're good to go. I do like cutting the Dreadmaw, though. I think that's a solid choice. Well, that's a good dude, too. That's not a land. All right, don't do this to me again. One time. Graveyard. We don't even have one extra land to play, let alone two, but that did get us one, land, one, one card closer to a land. What, are we running 14 lands here? We do have a 2-2 at least. Hey, we did it. All right. Could have actually vanquished that guy and then, then attacked, but... Their whole deck is small guys. If we draw a land, we can probably go vanquish, equip, attack for four. Which is pretty good, I think. Unless they play 3-2 and 1-1. One, one, in which case, sad times. Ooh, aggressive. Here comes 3-2 and 1-1 one, one anyway. No, just two 1-1s. One, All right. Well, everything's coming up Millhouse.
Do I vanquish one of these tokens just to keep our four two alive? That seems bad. We can do a pre-combat just to get rid of a guy. Otherwise, it's just a one for one. I kind of want the, the, the board presence of uh, this vampire soldier pirate. All right, we can just play this guy. Play this pre-combat, pre-combat pre because we don't want to actually have it die to, uh, this guy die to the double menace, but I'm just going to pass here. I don't think it's a great trade, and we can just easily block these guys if we want to. I would rather trade here. Our hand looks good. It's just a matter of being able to, like, use it in time. Plus two, plus two. No, that's a good trade. I'll try to zealot for a Fathom Fleet border. Islands have been evasive. You are not wrong. We have. Uh, we might have a Mike B inbound. I gotta move my cereal bowl. Wow, the, the dueling captain's hook decks. Okay. Oof. One, two, three, four. Huh. I wish we had one more land. Then we can actually hunt the weak here. And put the, the pirate's hook on. Yeesh. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Take my hand. I'll make it, I swear. Yeah, I figured you'd do that. Their guys having lifelink is pretty bad. Oh, we'll pump it? Yeah, they, I know they have the pump. They were gonna tempted to use it last turn on Fathom Fleet Border, which makes this pretty awkward. But if they don't and they don't want to use it, or they don't want to use it, that's that's also fine. I will accept that. Fifteen to twelve. Dusk Charger. Old Dusky. The old Dusky Trail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's hard to hard to imagine that Dusk Charger does not become a big big next turn. Pretty sure we just hunt that dude. Attack for six. If we were able to play more guys, that would be great, but it does not seem to be the case. So they gained four. We only, like, deal two damage here. Ugh. Brutal. But I'd rather deal five than take... Like, we're going to be taking three, and they're going to be gaining three. So we only prevent one and one if we don't attack, which is just worse. Recovering Bishop Soldier. Sure. Welp. It's 
So we can attack for nine here, which is actually pretty close to where we want to be, I think. But Or eight, I guess eight, not nine. Can you not mess everything up? God. I'm fixing everything. Oh, oh, everything you're fixing. Yeah. Did you fix your life? Sort of. Oh, well, that's good. I said sort of. Calm down. I know. That's why I said it's... Well, it's a start. It's a start is really the important part. Looks like you're currently winning. I don't know about all that. They got a bunch of dudes. I mean, if you go by life totals, yes. Yeah. But they have lifelink. Oh, that's unfortunate. Six, I know. That's why I always say. Why can't they just not have that? Oh, you're just going to kill my blocker and deal me a million and gain two more? Okay. I don't think we're winning anymore. No, man. You got him by one. I'm not so sure. I think they're going to give the older guys plus, plus one, plus one. Oh. Three, six, eight. That's exact. Hey, man. I thought you were winning. I... I yeah, you, you definitely... You definitely... <laughs> you are free to think that. You definitely said that. I don't know if that makes it true, but, you know... I want to bring in Cobbled Wings over Aggressive Urge, and I want to bring in this Castaway over this big fat dinosaur. You got anything spicy? No, we did a stipulation where we have to take a bunch of Explore cards, as many Explore cards or Graveyard cards as we can find. Okay. So. Hey man, it's Mike. <laughs> That's the Kajiki Jiki Icebreaker. It could have only been better if it said might be top eight at FNM once, something like that. But you were too busy smoking a marijuana cigarette, so jokes on you, I guess. Well, you got a little sweet tea, a little iced tea peach. It's, uh, yeah, iced tea peach. Where'd you get that? From my parents' house. That's what I figured because I was like, if you went to Publix, you would have just got Publix tea. Or I would have gotten several of them instead of just one. That'd be weird. That is weird. I don't know why you do that. I should have took several and then been like, yeah, I went shopping. Hmm. You'd never know. Me personally, I would never know. Yeah. I don't know if I'd care enough either, though. Yeah, but like in my mind, I'd be like, got him. Huh. Yeah. Doesn't take much to get him, huh? I hear this is the Magiano's waiting stream. This is the Magiano's <laughs> waiting stream. We got plans to go get some Magiano's family style tonight at like eight, so. With uh, none other than stream, longtime stream supporter Chad Bradbury, otherwise known as Trojan Rage. So, the more I play High Tide, the more I think it might not be a good deck. Like I'm not sure even with Force of Will, it'll be Tier One and Modern. In High Tide and Modern, Is High Tide legal and Modern. Oh, you're saying if if you if you gave it Force of Will, you don't even think it'd be Tier One and Modern. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I think it's a pet deck. It's just like that's Legacy, right? Legacy has like three good decks and then 50 pet decks and i'm pretty sure it's just a pet deck that can win games because it's still doing broken things it's just not doing them as efficiently as other decks i remember it won a it won like an scg once and then everyone was like oh my god high tide and then it died again more like died tide um i guess so it died so it's more like die tide why are you being like why do you like this the same reason hunter chases his tail because you're trying just to it just is. You're like this because you're trying to catch your tail? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's brilliant. I didn't even think about this. Maybe next time you will. I probably won't, but maybe. But maybe. And we'll yeah. see. We'll see, you know. Could go either way. Oh. This guy's doing more exploring than we are. Oh, a jungle-born pioneer. There's no way you put that in the graveyard, right? You gotta be super greedy. Unless you don't have a third land. Oh, they're thinking about it. If you don't have a third land, you just put it in the graveyard. Maybe that's, they already have one. They're that's thinking it. about keeping the second one. <clears throat> oh, you definitely keep the second one, though, right? Probably. Probably. Bye, Dibas. Bye, call. Do I have Diatch Touch? Do you mean Death Touch? I don't even know what Diatch Touch is, Daniel. Get your life together. 
This guy can't even attack. I don't even care. I'll block your guy. Your guy can attack. My guy can't. Ah, uh, the famous Diatch touch. Diatch touch. Oh, they're going to opt. Oh, they don't have a third land. Otherwise, they would have just cast this guy. Wow, that's so greedy. Really? 100% trade. Unless you have aggressive urge. You don't. Okay, well, that's a good trade. Trade all day. Do, 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 do. Can't block my cougars for about two or less. Eh, whatever. Let's play this old, this old sailor. He could actually be a sailor. He looks like... This guy looks like a pirate, right? Um, he can't be because he's a soldier. Nah, I guess that's true. Can I block? No? You're not gonna let me? Okay. No, no, Diaz. Don't get me started about the language thing. I remember when you read Dane. <laughs> you made... You guys made me read it. I didn't want to. It wasn't in my best interest, that's for sure. You got a little spire wire? Spire wire? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's a wire so much as a winder, but yeah, I guess it spire could wire. be. A, okay, you win. You win. What do you win? Nothing, but you still win. But as long as I win. I don't think any card or any creature in our deck blocks this guy, except for the the champion of ducks. Champion of ducks? What's that? Oh, good. You're going to bounce my, my guy that I just played. That's cool. I like that. I'm having a good time. It's a 4-4. Four four. It's a big champion of dusk. Ducks. Damn, I almost said it correct there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess I just play this guy and keep up on it. A dude. Yeah. I don't love it. But I don't hate it either. But I don't love it. God, we're just never blocking this Guilt Grove Stalker. Not with that attitude. What did I read? What did you guys have me to read? The stream doesn't say modern, right? It says drafting, right? Yeah, okay. Every time someone says that, I'm just like, did I accidentally list it as modern? They have two cards in hand. We have a bunch of cards. We just have to make sure we can play them enough on time. On time. Pretty sure we just block here and exile this idiot. Get out of my life. This is a bastardization of Billy Ocean's get out of my dreams and into my car. It's not a good one. Oh, look, they did have the, the double pioneers. Two pioneers for days. are better than one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are... Well, clearly it's not wrong because we are drafting. You can't you can't come in and ask where the modern gameplay is and then say it's wrong that the you know what? Never mind. You get it. You know what I'm saying right now. We don't have to we don't have to do this whole thing. Huh. Walk the bank. Hmm. Shut down his account. What? Walk make, the bank? Yeah, make him shut down his account. Boy. Shut down his account. <clears throat> it's because when you die, uh, they shut down your account. I do own a cat. Snark Crash. How would you know that? How would you ever know that? Could they really hear from that far from the mic? Do you know how loud that cat is? I know, but geez. Okay, well, land is what I was looking for. Now we got that city's blessing, boy. Bah. Bah. Let's get in there with Manasio. Manasio, the Dust Legion Zealot. Is he a vampire? Is he a pirate? Nobody knows. He's a little, little column A, a little column B. Oh, vampire. Oh, I will eat both of those guys. Surely. Oh, no, he dies because it's unattached. That is the loudest cat you'll ever see. How is he that loud? <laughs> it's real throaty, too. 
Like it's super. It's he's a super. Thr okay. So we take six, but we can get in there for five. I don't think we win that race. We go to nine. They go. They go to fifteen. We go to nine. They go to ten. We go to three. Then we die. They go to five. We are one turn off. Four, five, seven, eight, nine. We have drawn nine lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight spells in our sixteen land deck. No equip. No, because if they have, yeah. No, I'd rather put it on a smaller guy. We don't need it right now if we're not attacking. And if we get a smaller guy, I'd rather put it on the smaller guy to be able to make some make some blocks. Because once you detach this, it, they, the, the, the thing dies. Right. So I don't want to have to. I don't want it to be stuck on this guy forever. Are you going to get in there? Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't do it. Think about your family. <laughs> Think about his family. Okay, so I have to assume you don't have a trick, otherwise you would have attacked there. All right, now we're talking. Tomb Raider. I feel like Walk the Plank might be dead, but it might not be too. See, I'll probably put it on him. Oh my god, he's so loud, dude. Get out the me, 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 me. 51 Polyraptor tokens in one game. I'm actually pretty curious how MTG Arena displays 51 Polyraptor tokens. This is not a reasonable volume level for that cat. Alright, we're exploring. Ooh. 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 One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we already have the city's blessing. I guess we don't have to count anymore. Well, it's tomb robber technically, but you know, same thing. No, that cat doesn't need any more food. Oh, trust me, that dude is is not is not longing for food right now. All right, let's get in there with some damage. I guess we could walk the plank here. I like this guy because you can just subsequently discard all the lands you draw. Like, if you, if you explore hit a land, you can just discard that until you actually get a, a counter. Oh, wow. It just says X51. That's pretty crazy. Jeez. I would love to open Twilight Prophet just once in a draft. Good luck. Oh, I will I will trade both these guys. We'll keep the, the walk the plank in hand for now. Did you say good luck? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you. Oh, Dusk Charger, keep on rolling. It's called Dusk Charger, so I really want it to have haste, but it doesn't. Yeah, you're not charging. More like Dusk Slowger. Slowger. I think your brain has a slowger. I think your mother sucks. <laughs> <laughs> got him. God, I got him so bad there. Do you guys feel bad for, for our brother Mike? Ooh. That's the most exciting card we could have drawn here, I think. We can get back a Dusk Legion Zealot and basically draw three cards. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. I'm just going to get in there. I've proven that I'm the that I'm the uh, the alpha attacker in this game. Every time I look around, every time I look around, it's in my face. Do you guys know this song? All right, good talk, good talk. Let us recover a thing. What do we get back? Desperate castaway, maybe. 
I like the menace guy. This guy? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to trust you. And I don't know why. Because you're not very trustworthy. Oh, that, that could have been good. It still will be. Wilby was the name of my old dog. No, it wasn't. Uh, nobody believes you. Wilby, yeah. come on. Okay, that's fair. Oh, we just won this game. And we had Walk the Plank. Oh, there it is. There's Champion of Ducks. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't like that? I'm going to take out Walk the Plank, which feels awkward, but... Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, if you know what I'm saying. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Can somebody please know what I'm saying? What, about, what if we had an ancient Bronzodon and we put some cobbled wings on it? That would just be hilarious, right? That would be hilarious. I'll bring the Urge back. Urge actually seems pretty reasonable. We don't have 13 creatures. That's not a lot, but... We do have a Recover and a March the, the Waters. March the Waters? I don't know if that's what it's called. March to the Death. March the Decks. What? Wow, you got really you got really aggressive there. What? I just wanted you to make sense. Yeah, well, you've been wanting it for years. Ain't no sense in thinking I'm going to start now. I guess not. I like Legion Zealot into Explorer on Legion Zealot, and then into this guy, which draws us two. This hand is... Gasseroni. Wow, whatever. Look, we got one. There's a land. Here's a land right here. Ready? Oh, it actually was a land. Hmm. What a time to be alive. It's in my face. Every time I look around. I think someone abducted Frank and replaced him with an exact replica. That's possible. I guess in that scenario, I would never know. Neither would you. I mean, I probably wouldn't either. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. It was okay. It was an all right talk. I've had better. Who are you whimpering over there? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Who's a little whimperer? Who's whimpering? Burr, burr. I guess we just go Dinosaur Hunter. Or Castaways. I guess we'll go Castaways. We'll make Castaways bigger. Or we'll try to, anyway. Oh, you can go right in the, straight into the trash can. Now we got a 3-4 that can cobble some wings next turn. Won't you take these cobbled wings? Learn to fly again. Learn to cobble wings. I guess you're not learning to cobble wings because they're already cobbled. I used to be a wing cobbler once. Uh-huh. I was back in my past life. Everyone believes you. <sighs> you seem to think I'm lying a lot in this one particular stream. You're always lying. I'm just trying to cobble some wings, bro. Why do you have to be like this? Hey, little dumpling. What time? It was, what's my what's my what's my battery life at? Sixty three. We can do. We can have a little charge. We can charge him. We have the technology. Give me one land so I can just hunt the weak on this Mitch, or we can just play these two things. This is a it's a strong. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Are you? Never better. You were never better? This is the best you've ever been? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Man, and we and we were able to explore and put a card in the trash can and we drew an extra card and we still haven't hit a fourth land. I don't like it. Well, that's too bad. This is a, some kind of conspiracy. What's your thought? What's that your one was that what's that your one five drop and two of your four drops before your fourth land? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, five drop, four drop, four drop. Yeah. That's that seems more likely to hit that fourth land. Phineas T. Bond Doggler was the first wing cobbler. He lived in London. Yeah, great. Yep, that's fun. 
in the 16th century before contact, contracting syphilis from a local woman of the night and passing away blind at the age of 52. You know, like you do. Yeah, everybody knows that story. Everybody knows the story of Phineas T. Bon, Bondoggler. Bondoggler. I can't tell if that's his name or if he meant to say Boondoggler, but, you know, either way. Get this dude out of my life and never come back. Don't play dive down. Don't. Thank you. Now you hath died. I'm also very proud of you for saying woman of the night. That's that's hilarious. That is a hilarious term. It was the rhythm of the night. It was the woman of the night. Whoa. Oh yeah. <laughs> we just double block here. Crying out loud. We go to seven, and if we play this guy, we go to five. Any trick, and it's just an utter blowout. I'm just going to take it. Wow. We should have just blocked. Draw them creds. Doot, 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 and doot. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. All right, so if we get to survive and draw... If we draw a land, we can play Aggressive Urge and Hunt the Weak. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Can you just not have any more tricks? I don't... He had four cards in his hand. I definitely didn't trust the, the trade. Well, actually, they played... Uh, yeah, they played land first. So they had four cards in hand. Or three cards? They had three to four cards in hand, and I didn't feel like... Even an Aggressive Urge is such a blowout there. That doesn't feel good. Oh my god, really? Come on. Stop with the bouncy. <clears throat> well, we're going to block because otherwise we die. So, Joke's on you. You made my champion of dusk. Good. So Trump block here, kill this guy. We're not dead. <laughs> and then champion can kill the other guy. All right, well, as long as you don't play anything else, we're good. Can you just have two lands in hand? That would be super cool. Doubt it. I doubt it, too. They're going to pounce. Ready for the pounce? Pop, 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 pounce. I wonder how many prostitutes work the day shift. I mean, some people work swing shifts and probably could use the goods and services during those hours. I agree with you. It feels like there should be one of the day too, you know? I think that's a, that's a reasonable request to ask of the... Uh, that industry, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't sure what to call it. Yep. What are you doing right now? Just let me block. Can't you let a guy block? Can't you just let a man block? First time being able to join the stream live, so I'm quite excited. Did you by chance get the black green regenerate? No, we did not. There's a regen. You mean the, the guy you can get back from the graveyard? Not entirely regenerating, but similar principle. Oh my god, really? We get to survive? Well, we get to go to one. <laughs> oh, you're just going to counter it. Okay, cool. No, I don't. Sure. Why didn't you just play that the turn before? Why didn't you play that on the last turn and just kill us with it? Maybe he drew it? No, he didn't. He's he's just a monster. He's just history's greatest monster. Wow. Yeah, that's what I said. It's, uh, he must have done something real bad. Uh-huh. He he was, he was beat history great, history's greatest monster. That's what he, he did. Bead. He beat them. Is there a shift differential? What does that mean? That sounds more that sounds more physics based than woman of the night based, just so you know. I'll keep this mediocre hand. That's probably pretty good. We got down there. You playing with your little bottle? Yeah. What's in your bottle? Nothing. I drank it all. No, I mean it looked like there was a green. Oh. No, you know what? Never mind. Don't there's, even worry. There's nothing. I don't want to talk to you anymore. 
I think that's your tumor acting up. My well, it does do that from time to time. I mean, I had three mana up, and he's seen Vanquish, so I think you just try to guarantee the win there. Well, that's a good card. You know who Captain Hook is? No. I bet we could have attacked there and gotten some free points. They probably wouldn't have blocked. You don't know who Captain Hook is? No. What's wrong with you? I only know of Rufio. Rufies? Rufio. Is that what you call him? Is that what you kids call him? <laughs> Unbelievable. Rufio. Rufio. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Argle bargle. That's what I always say. Um, what does that mean? You know what it means. I actually don't. Yeah, but you do. You say that, but I actually don't. I think, <clears throat> I think you do. I just got a YouTube comment from Andrew Farrell, and he said, I crack up every time you say little dumpling. So, Andrew Farrell, this is for you, buddy. You little dumpling, you. I feel like we're going X1 in all of these, or 1-2 oh, in all these matches, which is okay, but we're fairly feels like we're missing something. I mean, even though you stib, the deck doesn't seem that bad. I agree with you. The mana has been the, the most problematic, I think, with like sometimes we just have a, a green card and no forests or a blue card and no islands, or a might card and no, bad, no other bad cards other than the might card. Wow. That was me How dare you. saying that you're... You, you're, you're yeah, I got it. Okay. Just checking, man. I just wanted to be clear. Oh, look, a deep poop warrior. See, I replaced root with poop. Because it's a similar word with two two O's in it. Okay, well I'm sorry. I'm sorry my I'm sorry my jokes bore you. They're rather bored. I'll try to be more entertaining for you next time. No, man. I like the boredom. The border? The boredom. The board door? so bad Ugh. what's so bad you know what you did what did i do everything really yeah did i do everything you know be nice here tell me a green mana i agree with you so hard right now look at my wings little wings Oh god, what, what even do? What even did they? Really? When did they? What? When did they? When did they? they, did they. What, are you, what are you saying right now? When did they? Yeah, when did they? What does that even mean? What does when did they mean? What do you mean? I don't know, man. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever, wow. <laughs> this is where they just bounce this guy, you ready? Boing. I have this bounce spell that I'm just going to use on your tiny gentleman, your dinosaur hunting gentleman. He didn't. He should have. I, I didn't have enough mana to recast it. So, joke's on you, buddy. Hmm. Bring. Oh, a Tempest Caller? That's pretty good. Yeah, of course you're keeping that on top. That's an easy path to victory. Uh, I'm afraid to ask, but what do the Syphilis counters do? You know. You know what they do. Strumpet, legendary creature, Lady of the Night, Streetwalk. When Strumpet enters the battlefield, put a syphilis counter on each creature opponent's control. You know what they do. I 
don't. Don't you? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have ten power on board. Wow. Wow. We can swing for seven in the air. Oh my god, we're gonna be one mana. Like we can swing for seven in the air here, and then next turn Hunter we can swing for eight in the air and put them to one. And they're gonna be able to crack back once they play Tempest Caller. They're gonna be able to crack back for one, two, three, four, five, six, I seven, nine, you can, ten. You can draw aggressive thing urge. To we only have one green. Oh yeah, never mind. <clears throat> yeah. It's gonna be so close. Oh, I guess we could we can we yeah, we could hit um one, two, three, one yeah, but then we'd have to hit a land too, that's the problem. Like there's nothing we only have six lands, so we can't hunt the weak and play cutlass. I guess we could urge and then hit the forest and then hunt the weak. That would be like the dream, but it doesn't matter because they're just going to bounce this anyway. Okay, we're having a good time. Yep, all I'm right. To recover. Nope, oh. that's the end. Cool. So we would have gotten this guy back, drawn the captain's hook. Yeah, it wouldn't have done anything. All right, because it's on top. All right, next card would have been an island, which would have done nothing. All right, well, one, two, one, two. Oh, Cutlass would have been enough. You're right. That is a good point. We wouldn't have needed to hunt the week if we had Cutlass. However, it was not a Cutlass, so that's good. Not a Chicken Cutlass. Delicious Chicken Cutlass. Because it sounds like Cutlet. I got you. All right, just making sure. Just want to keep you. Yeah, I really, I really, it's really good when you explain the joke in detail like that. You like that? Yeah. Do 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 do. Locating opponent in stage one. You're a stage one. Of what? I like that. Everybody's in stage one. Everybody's. You're in stage one. You're in stage one. Yeah, that 74 trophies guy is ridiculous. Asura 4 is just not. Like, that's not even real. How is that even possible? I don't know. Like, how many? How much? I have five. And you guys, like, I stream daily. I don't understand. Oh, my God. Brian, you can't do it, buddy. Don't do it. All right, we're going to get a green immediately so then we never have a mana problem again. Do you understand? And this is going to be our win. We're going to win this one last round and get nothing for it. Why, I hope so. But I have a, I'll have a moral victory you here. You get literal nothing for one, two? Yes, and this is, like, this is something I complain about regularly because I'm like, it just why even make you play the last round? It just feels silly, like you're yeah, playing for nothing. Like, for, like if we weren't like uh, recording, it would just be better to just concede. Like right, exactly. Yeah, if I didn't want to just have a video... Well, it's also the stipulation that Monsonster requested, so it would definitely get posted. But, oh, that was a good draw. Holy smokerinos. Look at that. Not only does it let this guy attack, it's a 4-4 on turn 3. Get him. Oh. Get him. I, 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 I'm always playing for the memes. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Did you see that one? No. I did. Did you? No, I just saw it. That's what I meant. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean right now. I didn't black out. Yeah. So we can actually kill this ugly... One, two, three, four, five, six. We can kill this idiot. It can hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm just going to do it. And then we're not attacking because then they just trade with Martyr of the Desk, which seems bad. My memes are always dreams. But then they become real dreams. They come, which are realities, I guess. This is the biggest desperate castaways ever. Oh no! Look at all your little nerds. We're just gonna attack here. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Sure. I will eat your little man. All right, next time we should have the city's blessing. Thank you, city. City bless. 
It's like Papa Bless, but different. These castaways are significantly less desperate than they could have been. Look at my blessing. I want you to look at my blessing. Oh, NDA on, on MTG Arena gets lifted in, sometime in the next month? That's exciting. I think we're I think we're done here. This game feels over unless they go like settle the wreckage or something. Oh god, what are you doing for five mana? Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. That's old snappy. On a scale of one to doing your own dentistry with an ice skate, how desperate are they? They're about a one right now. I think they're they're doing quite well. Oh god, double black. No, okay. Impale? Yeah, you're just gonna... No, you're not gonna impale something. I'm very confused. Okay, that's just as good, I guess. Lesbian seagull. Come on, bring old Snappy in. Snap, say it, hey. Oh, now then... Old Snap Daddy stays home? Um, yeah, you can stay on top. You're good enough. Does it cost to equip one or two? Two? Perfect. Perfect! That's like, remember Street Fighter when you get a perfect? They're like, perfect! Mm -hmm. Do you? What can they have for two mana that disrupts this? Nothing? They could have negate. Uh, they didn't have anything. They didn't have that. Also, another update that I know you want to hear, KFC is still closed. Did you hear that KFCs in the UK were running out of chicken, so they had to close? They closed, like, half the KFCs in the UK. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, I have been to a KFC once, and they ran out of chicken. It's pretty awkward. Was it? Yeah. Really? You went to a KFC that ran out of chicken? Mm-hmm. Isn't that like your sole job is to just have chicken? Yeah, it was pretty, um, pretty unfortunate. I don't understand. How's that work? They just had no more chicken, and they, everyone had to go home. <clears throat> Look at the, all the guys they just killed. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. Bummer drummer. Bummer drummer? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? You know about the bummer drummer? I don't think anyone knows about the bummer drummer. Then the idea is to say something really depressing and keep drumming. Is it? Yeah. It's not just like it's not KFC ran out of chicken when I went there today. Boom 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 boom. Let's see if we can actually kill them right now. Can we do that? What if we what if we can kill them right now? We can discard Fathom Fleet Board. If, if one of the next two cards... No, it has Menace, bro. Don't be putting your your stupid... Your Stupacabra in front of me. I don't think it's worth trying. Got him. Trying because they dying. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Now I have... Uh, what is that? Longview? Is that the, is that the song? Sure. <sighs> It's so hard to dislike to not dislike you all the time. Got him. This hand is pretty juice. I do like this juice hand. Remember that time you were juice? Mm hmm. Me too. Oh. Got even juicier? This is like a fresh peach or an orange or a tomato. 
or some other juicy fruit. Juicy fruit. That's like the gum. You know that gum? What about a fruit stripe? What about it? It's not a contest. It is to me. It's a contest to you? I'll just play this guy. You know what else is a... Oh, we can actually go enter the unknown, play two lands, and then Captain's Hook? That seems good. Or we can just play that and attack for four. Oh, or we can do both. Both seems better than... Than not both? Yeah. Oh! Um, we'll keep that guy. That guy's good enough. Pow. Pow. And they don't have a single black mana, so like they're... Their chupacabra options are pretty limited right now. Good lord. This is a... I have four lands in play in limited, and I have a pirate, a five... Oh, you just made my life real sad. Why would you do that? I thought we was friends. Thought wrong. I did think wrong. Let's play you to try to hit a land. We didn't hit one. Dang, still got five damage in. They're missing two land drops? This is no good. Oh, now they're not. I don't even you, you got no creatures for me. Look at all this equipment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight permanents. I guess we just play this guy. Look at this guy. He's still luminous. This guy's bonded. Luminate. Look at this idiot. I'm a 3-6. Nah, what you is is weak. So even if, if they play a guy, we can just move the, the hook onto this guy, give it menace. Oh, you're just going to naturalize my cutlass? My chicken cutlass? All right. Well, wasn't the result we wanted, but still super fun. And I like that we had a goal in mind and that we were able to... I, I feel like we were able to accomplish it. And uh, I'm okay with it. That was a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. I, I know uh, stipulation drafts aren't the most competitive, but uh, I still think they're pretty fun. So... I had a good time. Hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. So will he, I guess. Maybe. Maybe.